She introduced herself. Well, you know what? Hang on. I have to do one thing. This is KEBF Morro Bay and KZSR Paso Robles. You're listening to the Mistress of the Rock. Yeah. Um, well, kids. So who are you and why are you here? Um, I'm Peter <laughs> Quinnell. I'm the lead singer of The Flower Machine. And I'm here to visit with Mistress Lisa because we had such a great time last time. And we've released a um, bunch of new material in 2023. It's been a bit of a whirlwind, to be honest. And so I thought I'd pop along and play some of these songs. Well, I'm so glad you did because I love when people come in and play their music for me. Whether And you guys didn't play live last time either. I'm, I'm still waiting for the band to come in and actually play live in here. Yeah. Well, you should have been at rehearsal last <laughs> night. We were in Carl's shed and we had... <laughs> The lights down low, and we got all the gear set up, and we played for about two hours. Wow! Yeah, so we're we're, we're contemplating but, doing but some live shows. But I like everybody shows. to hear it. If, yeah. You know, we we do stream live around the world, so you know. Wow. You yeah, it's never a know. small room, though. There's not it's, enough room for all the equipment, room. and plus our gong of fire. It's a, it's a hazard <laughs> that I wouldn't subject the station to. Oh, but to, now I'm know? totally excited. Yeah. <laughs> And we do literally well, have a gong that, in our practice but, room. But we not, don't set it don't on set fire. It. No, that's only if for special occasions. Oh, my God, that's hilarious. Uh, okay, so um, you've had a busy year. You've made a lot of music, and you brought some music with you to play. So tell us about it. Tell okay. us about it, Peter. Right. Well, it's a quick recap for those of you scoring along at home. We put out a new album last year, uh, when we were here last time, at the end of last year called Volume 5, and we got a rave review from Shindig Magazine in the UK. Wow. Which is a proper magazine. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, yeah. Yeah. covers the psychedelic scene. Print magazine. And they loved it. And so that's been good for us because we've gotten some, a lot of activity from that. And uh, part of that has been that we've been asked to contribute songs to some really cool compilation projects. Ooh. So we'll get to that in a moment. Like Rhino stuff? No, well, they're, they're, um, they're independent labels, one in London called Fruits de Mer Records, and uh, they were curating a Kinks covers EP. Ooh, nice. And we ended up being the lead-off song wow. on it. Yeah, so we'll play that. Okay. I won't ask what song it was. We'll just, we'll just hear it, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then we did uh, a four-song EP on CD of our own. The Kings thing was on vinyl. This We did a CD over the summer. In between drinking expensive wine and trying to get a suntan, we put out a CD EP. And that's quite nice. And, uh, and then there's a brand new thing that's being released like right now that's happening right now and uh, we'll get to that as well and we're going to hear some of it yeah but I thought I'd start off with um, our inner city windmills EP which is the thing we put out ourselves and it's a cover of um, a very obscure Roger Waters song from 1969 really yeah that's they never released it really and it was like you hear a bit of it in this French film from 1969. Wow. But it's not on any of their records. All right. But so we did it up, and it's called Seabirds. And uh, if I hit play... Hit play. Let's see what let's happens. see what happens. And I can see you smile 
Peter Quinnell here from The Flower Machine, and you just heard Seabirds from our Intercity Windmills EP. You're also listening to 97.3 and 107.9 The Rock, listener-supported community radio for the Central Coast, streaming worldwide at therockcommunityradio.org. Also, why don't you ask Alexa to, quote, launch The Rock Community Radio, end quote. You'll be glad you did. (laughs) That's right. Okay, so... So, the, so, what's the, next? The London Affair. Um, the London Affair? The London Affair. So we were asked by uh, Keith, uh, my friend Keith, who runs a label called Fruits de Mer, to contribute to an EP that he was putting together where he had four bands picked out, um, and he said, you know, you each do a Kinks cover, and we're going to press it up as an eight-inch uh, vinyl record and a custom sleeve. And... Um, Airing on the side of caution, he said, hey, man, we're going to make this like a lim- in an English accent, of course, he said, we're going to make this a limited edition. We're only going to press 100, and it's going to be this, this crazy collector's item. And uh, cool. I think he was rather taken aback by how quickly they sold. I mean, they literally sold out the same day he, he announced it. That's you good. Know, or they were on sale. It was literally, and they're gone. <clears throat> you know, the only, they sent us a few, you know, so we, you know, everybody that played on it. In the band, like Rob, Got one. Yeah, Rob played guitar on it. I sang and played Mellotron, and Carl did the drums. So we each have one. But, yeah, it's weird to make a record. Because like, usually... Well, you should bring it next time. I'd like to play some music from well, it. Well, I brought... It's on... It's, oh, it's I did on the bring phone. a track. Okay. We can bring the Kinks cover that we did. Awesome. Can, we'll play that next. Great, great, great. We opted for a uh, Kinks song called See My Friends. Okay. You know that one. I don't. From 1965. All right. It goes like this. See my friends See my friends Playing across the Yes. 
Okay. Kinks. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that song. Yeah, that's know, our uh, version of See My Friends. And uh, it's, you know, the pop business is the best. I never go anywhere else. And <laughs> so if you're going to record something, you know, to a master like Ray Davis. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, everybody caught, you know, you, caught, you only steal from the best. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right, uh, so before we get back to some music and stuff with Peter, I have a couple of announcements to make. By the Sea Productions is putting on a production of War of the Worlds, written by H.G. Wells. It's directed by Rick Bruce, and apparently it is an audience-immersive experience of the radio show that shook the world. Like the world needs more shaking today. This will take our mind off of everything, though. So it's at the uh, By the Sea Productions, which is here in Morro Bay on Shasta Avenue, and at our silent auction, which is coming up this Saturday night at our fundraiser. There are two pairs of tickets to By the Sea Productions for whatever production you want to go see. So come on in, make a bid, have a drink, listen to some music. And uh, support us <laughs> monetarily. Okay, that's that. And I'm going to do one more thing right here. Hang on just a minute. Ah! Can be using the grocery from farmers. Cow. Here's a little thing you might find for that Ralph in Los Angeles. Okay, never mind. I'm going to fix that. <laughs> <laughs> that was the CD skipping. So we're going to just continue talking and listening to music here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> As it's nearly Halloween, some people get very excited about Halloween. Frank Zappi used to get very excited about Halloween. He would do a yearly concert at the Palladium in New York. Um, wow, but that was crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that makes a, a midnight show of Rocky Horror Picture Show seem like a garden party. <laughs> it seemed like Snow White. <laughs> yeah. Um, but so... You know, we got kind of swept up in that a little because a guy I know called Steve, who runs a label uh, called Outro Records, it's a garage rock psychedelic label, uh, he said, hey, every year, um, that's the fourth year, every year we do a Halloween-themed compilation album of bands that we dig, would you like to contribute? And it's like, wow. oh, Steve, of course I would. You know, <laughs> so We decided to cover um, a song called Saucy Jack, which has... Is that, wait, that's Spinal Tap. Exactly. It has a lot of history to it. So, you know, in the movie, they tease the, the idea right. that that's they're going right. to write a musical about Jack the Ripper. That's right, Saucy Jack. So, you know, for years, <laughs> nobody ever it. actually heard any of the... I love it. So years later, they actually released, just very barely released, you know, just like a download on their site of, like, the complete Saucy uh, Jack song. That is hilarious. Yeah, so I said, Steve, how about if we cover that? And he's like, I love that idea. <laughs> Oh, I'm excited. So, yeah, that's a vinyl uh, long player that you can buy now. OutroRecords.com. You can get a copy at um, Phantom Stranger in Grover Beach. Our friends Patrick and Justin, they've got a stack of them there. Cool. And um, you, Do you have it on your phone? It's on my phone. We so we were about to hear the flower machine playing Saucy Jack. I am so excited. Okay. <laughs> because, because, I mean, well, hopefully most of our listeners are familiar with Spinal Tap and, you know, get that reference, yeah. right? Okay, sorry. All right. I'll shut up now. Off we go with the flower machine playing Saucy Jack. You're a naughty one, Saucy Jack, you're a haughty one. Saucy Jack, when the street lamp cast light flickers and fails, then you see the last light glinting off his coattails. Oh, naughty, 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 you're a sneaky one Saucy Jack, you're a cheeky one Saucy Jack, first the horse says, governor, fancy a squeeze Next you will be shoving her down the hole to Hades Oh, naughty, 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 the scourge of love A foolish one, saucy Jack. Though the peelers track you early and late, slipping out 
the back you counter with a checkmate Oh naughty, 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 naughty so great. I want to see the Broadway show. Yeah, well, you can't see that. But what you can see on Friday night, and there's a special thing Outro Records is doing, is they do a Halloween video show. And it's going to be released on YouTube on Friday night. And it's us and King Flamingo and the Rebel Set and a bunch of Outro Records bands each have a video in this thing. And it's properly emceed by one of the guys from King Flamingo. And it's really, they've done them again this is the, be the fourth year, and they do a really great job. It's a really fun thing to just kind of turn on for Halloween on YouTube in between watching Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, because that was the other choice. You know, it was, we were either going to do that one. Or Which one? We were going to do Sweet Transvestite. Uh, I was uh-huh. going to have a go at singing that, but I, I was a little, you know. Well. <laughs> I, was just talking ab- I was just talking about Tim Curry as that Sweet Transvestite earlier because I played over at the Frankenstein place. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that was my one Halloween song. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> but uh, it was like, God, man, he was, he was beautiful, wasn't he? Just, he, he was. Damn. Yeah, he was brilliant. Yeah. That. that was so far out of its time. For 975, yeah. that was crazy yeah. out of its time, yeah. Really good. All right, so Spinal Tap cover. Yeah, we're hoping that it's going to, you know, bring us to the top of most of the pop of most. I don't know. That's but, right. you know, we, I say this every year. You know, we've been going for 20 years now. So every year I think, oh, any moment I'll be David Cassidy. And it just keeps not happening, Lisa. <laughs> so I don't know what to say. <laughs> don't know. I'm doing, my, I'm doing my part. I'm oh, doing my best. Jeez. All right. Um, what else? Well, where we are we could, going? We could go back to, um, it, unless you want to ask me about my time in the Merchant Marine, we could play another song for uh, from Inner City Windmills. Which, you got, I want some psychedelia. The title track, Inner City Windmills, is about growing up in Amsterdam, which I did and um, as a teenager, and uh, there were a lot of psychedelic experiences. <laughs> there, okay. More than I can remember, actually. How long did you live there? About uh, nine years. Wow. Yeah. Good times, as the kids say. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, at that age. Yeah. Um, and Amsterdam. Jesus. It's, it's, you know. it's, it's, is uh, it everything they say it is? And more. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So this is, uh, yeah, our, our, our latest chart topper from this All summer. Right. Inner City Windmills. Here we go.
jangly guitar yeah that was uh, that was good that was Rob on a uh, Rickenbacker 12 string see I had a feeling that was a 12 string my people try to say don't you hear that that's 12 string <laughs> what, what no it's just a guitar what do you t- don't you hear that wangy wangy that's it. all the guitars Rick- make that noise the Rickenbacker, <laughs> it's that jingly jangly thing yeah the Rickenbacker has a very distinctive jangle well yeah apparently yeah I think so. Which I am unaware of, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we, that yeah. was good. So anyway, the, we were going to talk about the fact that, um, you know, the, the, the business-like details of, I love the flower machine, but where can I find them? You know. That's right. People That's are right. Um, well, you know, we live around, around here, you know, so you'll run into us probably having, Local a, lads. having a margarita somewhere. But um, on the worldwide interwebs, we have um, at the flower machine on YouTube, lots of videos. I strongly Good. recommend that. And uh, we have an Instagram, at the flower machine, with little, you know, underscores in between the words. But, you know, just type in flower machine, you'll find it. <laughs> Google and, the flower machine. The flower machine? And Facebook, The flower machine. Too. But, um, so yeah, there's that. And uh, we're in record shops. We're at Phantom Stranger. Uh, just across the square here, uh, Vinyl Isle, Jeremiah, he's got... Love that place. He's got our record, the Volume 5 one, not, not the other ones, but... Um, and and, uh, and you were mentioning that perhaps you might be live somewhere soon? Yeah, we're rehearsing a lot. We've got um, uh, Galen, our new drummer, and Chris, our new bass player. And so that gives us the freedom to not turn up to rehearsals. And they just let them do it. No, we're, we all usually show up. And we're going to be doing some shows uh, coming up, probably. Maybe not this year, but um, early next year. Well, the year's almost over. That's I know. Yeah. At this point, really, it's more just yeah. kind of, you know... Tidying up, sure. putting up biscuits for people, things like that. You know. Biscuits and tea. I noticed there was a song on here called Home for Tea. Yeah. Can we hear that? You want to hear that one? Sure. All right. Unless you had a, a, another thing you wanted. Um, well, we could, yeah, as we, as we sort of send me off into the, the wild ether, the ether. yonder, we could play one more uh, okay. after that. But, All right. Um, sure, Home for Tea is kind of... Uh, uh, right here.
that's from this record, this CD called Inner City Windmills. Yeah. Well, by the Flower Machine. Home for Tea by the Flower Machine. It's lovely. Cheers. <laughs> Ta. That's about all I know. Uh, okay, so... Um, well, thanks, Peter. Well, it's been, as always, it's wonderful to be had here on Mistress Lisa's show. And uh, if you have the time, I highly recommend it, everyone. Come That's on right. And, uh, I like visitors that, that bring music yeah. and play music. So you're going to send us out with uh, one more song? I was going, yeah. I'm th thank you very kindly for allowing me <laughs> to just throw one more there onto the one bonfire more. of audio, whatever. It's freeform radio, man. I could yeah. do whatever I want. Can you dig it? I knew that <laughs> you could. That's right. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a bit of a throwback. Um, it's from a vinyl 45 that we did three years ago for a very hip label called Hypnotic Bridge Records. Uh, and it's just a great label that puts out incredible singles by every cool psychedelic band there is. And they did one with us. Nice. You know, and... Uh, yeah, yeah. So psychedelic good. bands are good. And this one is called, um, this is the A side, what I wrote, and it's called Through a London Window. Through a London Window? Uh -huh. And then are you going to come back and say goodbye, or is this uh, adios? I'll come back and say All goodbye. Right, good. okay, I okay. wouldn't just dash off. <laughs> okay. I was raised better than that, Lisa. <laughs> for coming Thank as you usual for and me. do i get to keep this that is yours to Yay, keep to treasure yes. all right well it'll be in rotation you know beautiful thanks peter um Thank you, lisa i'm gonna uh hook something up here and